Are you a hustler? Do you consider yourself a hustler? Do you even know what hustling is? There's a lot of talk about grinding, making it happen, hustling, doing what you need to do to build whatever you're building. But the thing is, do you really know what hustling is? Are you really a hustler? The truth of the matter is, no, you're not. You don't know what hustling is. You're not a hustler. But if you want to know what real hustling is and how important it is, stay tuned. Hustling is going above and beyond what's required. A hustler is someone who has more action, more activity than their peers. Yep, that's it. No, it's not doing anything illegal. No, it's not getting over on people or uh, taking advantage of people. If that's what you thought hustling was, really, you're just a criminal. The reality is, if you're hustling as hard as you possibly can, you will get results. It's inevitable. It's undeniable. You may not like the results at first, but from results gained, you can take that information and yield better results. That's what hustling is. And the question is, are you hustling as hard as you can? Are you putting in as much time and effort as required for you to reach your goals? The question is, really, are you? The state of hustling in America in 2015, there are more people hustling harder than ever before. And that's why you're seeing so many remarkable innovations, inventions, apps, services. It's all over the place. Except it's not. Most of those people are unicorns, exceptional, very, very different. Because once again, when you hustle your face off, when you hustle your ass off, when you push forward with so much energy and enthusiasm, you're going to get a result. You know, like me, either people really like me, which is cool, or people really hate my ass, which is cool. I get results. I move people from one spot to another. I have folks who send me scripture every month. I have folks who send me scripture in email because they're praying for me because I have moved these people to action. And that's the core of hustling. The greatest truth there is, is action. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. Well, I do care what you do because that's the truth. That's who you are. That's what you're doing. That's what you're about. Action says everything. Like the people who say, hey, I live for my family. I do everything for my kids, but you never see them. That's bullshit. You're doing what you're doing for another reason. You just say what well, is socially acceptable so people won't call you narcissistic or maybe something worse. The reality is what you do is who you are. And I know people, no, 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 no. That's not true, Glenda. No, that's not true. I, I beg to differ. Actually, I'm not begging. I just differ. No, I got a question for you. Do you know the value of hustling? Are you really, really clear on why you're doing what you're doing? Because see, clarity is exceptional in pursuing your goals. I'll give you an example. Let's say your goal is to start an online business. And you know you want to make money online. You want to build something. You, don't want, you want to work from home. You want to have a minimum staff. You're really, really clear on what you want. Now let's talk about the process of getting that. You don't know. One well, of the biggest things I hear is, what do you want to do? What do you want? You know, what do you want? I don't know. I just want to get money. I just want to make money. I just want to build this thing. I just... When you are that unclear on what you want to do, the chances of you reaching those, the things of freedom, money, minimum staff, zero. Zero. Because you have no clarity. When you have clarity, you can, when you have clarity in execution, you could be wrong so often and still win. I look back at some of my major fuck ups and 
aside from about four, because uh, I did lose about $150,000 because I made a wrong decision. It happens. But other than that, and another thing, even the big fuck ups were income producing opportunities. And it happens when you take yourself in the game, when you become the game, when you start to really put forth a lot of effort. There are many people who are consider working hard, taking chances as wasted time. They look at that as, mm, you know, I'm gonna work smart. But how much time have you wasted trying to work smart by not doing anything? That is a huge amount of time that you can't get back. Once it's gone, it's gone. Ask yourself, are you truly working as hard as you can on what you want to do? That's a serious question. And if you pause, that really tells the tale. See this book right here? Of course you do. You can't miss it since I've got it over my face. How Children Succeed. It's written by, let's just go ahead and put that up there because I gotta get my face out of it. There we go. Get this book. The core of this book is about adversity. When children are exposed to adversity early, they develop coping skills. Now, that's an oversimplification of this book. This is a good book, you should get it. But once you develop coping skills, it doesn't mean failure doesn't suck, because it does suck ass, but it does mean that failure will not stop you. One of the reasons that people are not hustling as hard as they can is because they are afraid of failing. They're afraid of looking bad. They're afraid of something just really horrible happening. So they play it safe. Why? They don't know how to deal with adversity. Once you learn how to deal with adversity, you give yourself incredible power. You give yourself the ability to bounce back. You give yourself the, outwork, the ability to outwork other people. It is incredibly important for you to develop coping skills because I don't care how successful your business may end up being on the way to that path of success. There will be many things that will go wrong. Once you get the success, there'll be many things that will go wrong. And the better that your coping skills are developed, the easier it will be for you to right the ship and deal with this stuff and not lose your mind. Because really what we're talking about and the difference between someone like myself and someone like you is marginal. It's not a 100% differential. It's not a 20% differential. It's not even a percent differential. It is like in the fractions. And the difference is I can cope with adversity much better than most people. That's it. Now, how did I get here? I had to deal with a lot of adversity. But that's the, that's the key. That's the key to hustling your ass off, hustling your face off is you know that as hard as you work, some things are just not going to turn out the way that you want. And you take that as, eh, it happened. And then you go back to hustling. That's the state of hustling. That's how you will make your dreams come true. That's how you'll make everything that you want in life to be yours, to come to you. Because see, when you're hustling, there's this perception that you're chasing something. Hustling is action in its ability and its execution. If you stay where you are and execute your ass off, things will come to you. They will find you because action begets action. It's a natural law of the universe. You can't get around it. So if you're not getting things that happen, it's because you're waiting on things to happen. Once you get busy, start doing something, building something, it could be if you're an artist, it could be something as simple as painting or drawing every day. That's it. Because you have many people who are artists, they don't create every day. You have many people who call themselves writer, they never write. Uh, how can you yield the benefits of being an artist, a writer, a business person, or anything, and you don't practice the craft as hard as you can? That's the art of hustling. Hustling is 
above and beyond action in comparison to your peers. So if you and your peers are activity levels are roughly the same or your activity levels are just a little bit different than your peers, your results are going to be very similar to their results. Your outcomes are going to be very similar to their outcomes because you're all exhibiting the same action. That's how it works. All right, I'm back. I thought something crazy had happened. What I'm going to do since you made it to the end of the video is I'm going to put a little special deal somewhere around here. There's going to be an I and there will be an annotation here at the end of the video. Click it and you get the deal and you'll have 24 hours to take advantage of it. And it's going to be really, really special. I'll just put it in there. So some you should know, some you should check out. And hmm, because this is the thing, you know, as I'm doing this and I'm thinking, you can't see the annotation on mobile, but everybody can see the eye. But a lot of people don't click the eye, so we're going to do that. But yeah, just let you know what it is and you can take advantage. So how's that for cool? All right, this is Glenn. Are you a hustler? Do you consider yourself a hustler? Do you even know what hustling